let's do some news. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Today's date is March 18th, 2022. In the year of our Lord. My name is Mike B, a.k.a. Phony. Again, this is chat. Chat, thank you so much for joining me today. The time is three something. Can't confirm it's 2022. That's right. We have had not necessarily the most eventful news week, but we've had some good ones. We've had some gems. We've had some real gems. But we're also going to be checking in. Those were our previous stories. What's up, Metaverse? What's up, you? Hey, YouTubes. Whatever happened to that guy? What was his name? Little keyboardist and shit. What's up, YouTubes? I fucking love that dude. Anyways, uh, so, 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 let's, let's, let's think back to uh, the last episode, which is a very long time ago. Um, and we talked a bit about artesian builds. So Ronald Jenkins, that's right, Ronald Jenkins. I think he's still around doing stuff, actually. One of the early, one of the early musicians uh, on the uh, on the YouTube verse, on the U verse. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so Artesian builds. Uh, last we reported, they were running into some issues concerning um, a giveaway where they modified the rules in real time on stream and disqualified somebody who was a partner, was an Artesian builds partner, because. Collectively across all of her social media accounts, she didn't meet an arbitrary threshold that he set uh, right there on the stream live. And then when he found that that they could disqualify her, well, that he could disqualify her based off of these ar arbitrary uh, rules that he just made up on the spot, um, uh, he was like, yeah, like, like we fucking got it. Like, mission accomplished. Like, he celebrated it. So he was kind of a real dick about it. And then all of the subsequent apologies and everything uh, did not um, really resonate very well. They were not particularly good. And so checking back in with them to seeing how they're doing. They're not. <laughs> they had a really weird last couple of days. <laughs> they had a really weird last couple of days trying to find ways to uh to do something with the company uh and it says for example at this point we're examining a potential employee-led buyout of the company thank you for your support i don't know why it's quotes um <clears throat> and then it says and this is what what is the difference it was may 5th and then a few days later here it says we are sad to announce that effective now we are freezing suspending all activities ongoing as analysis by uh by outside counsel for reorg to ensure fair treatment of clients creditors employees we expect more info by month's end we are open to assistance slash investments so that's basically done uh now something that i did not i had it in my notes but i did not mention it in the fucking news i think i just skipped over it for whatever reason we also harped on this a long for a, a long time so I, I maybe i just didn't want to keep harping on it but i should have mentioned it was the um the tax evasion stuff that some other like youtubers and other uh fact checkers and diggers or whatever we want to call them <laughs> social social media diggers right uh, they uh refunds incoming uh, who knows who there's a couple people that have that have uh orders out for them but um <clears throat> yeah basically it just it's 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 just turned into nothing they're they they're tax they've they had tax uh, avoidance issues in the state of california their business license has been revoked because of tax avoidance uh and now and so now with this happening it's like they don't even have they didn't have a back end of the business in terms of finances and then with the uh with the event that happened where you know all this got kicked off well that was basically uh the, the last straw if you don't have a back end you have a front end <laughs> what you got so so that's pretty much the end of artesian bills um they were they were uh that guy for last week or for two weeks ago um this this week we've got a few that guys there's always like that guy like that guy and it doesn't have to be a guy it could be anyone right there's always that don't be that person don't have your name trending right so this one came up <clears throat> this is a good one Radstads. Radstads is a developer, or sorry, is an editor for Ludwig. Ludwig is a uh, massively popular streamer. Um, mostly a bit of a React Andy, but also has really good uh, connections with other, other streamers. Uh, he does a lot of podcasts. Uh, all around, pretty chill dude, right? Um, so this uh, editor was taking and making, taking clips or taking sections of streams and then turning them into like cool little TikToks and then uploading them to, uh, you know, to TikTok, obviously. And <clears throat> discovered, he says, yo, at eSports, right? 
Is there any reason you, as a verified brand account, are shamelessly ripping all of your content on your TikTok from other accounts slash creators? Like literally just downloading and reposting TikToks with the watermark removed and improper tagging. And he posts a bunch of images showing that this is the case, right? And these are these are these are not re-edited, it's not re-edited content where they took a clip that they liked and they added a bunch of stuff. It is edited content that they took and just slapped a sticker on it and called it their own. It's the, it's the essence of the you made this, I made this meme. Okay. So so oh this. <laughs> So this was November 4th, 2021. The following month, it's discussed on The Yard, which is a podcast that includes hey, Ludwig. about Christian Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, okay, all right, Eamon, pull out your phone. What? While you do it, what? bring up the, the eSports Summit thing, because we wanted to talk about this a couple weeks ago. Oh, like the the website? Yeah, remember it was so whack, but like yeah. Christian Bishop got hired at Twitch, and it's funny because we we know of that guy through a couple different ways. One is that he worked at Thunder Gaming, which was like this colossal like meme failure of a endeavor to like appeal to Smashers, and uh, and he and also just like meeting him a couple times, and it's just it's funny. We were talking to Atrox about it. Atrox like, yeah, that's how these companies work, dude. They just hire somebody that's like not good but like they have some sort of weird value and they just get put in like a rewarding position. And we all saw that and we just, everyone in Smash rolled their eyes. They're like, oh, this yeah, it's just guy. weird. It's just weird. Cause I saw, it's like, isn't this guy like. So they're talking about Christian Bishop. Christian Bishop is a, a biz dev slash, uh, he works for Twitch full time. Um, <clears throat> so this is back in uh, December. And actually, I think here in a second, associated with a bunch of controversy, and he just got hired. But for like he, a was really the he was on the bachelor position. He was on the bachelor. He was on the bachelor. He was. That's it, worth. Like he was. Rad Sad was like, "Hey, you're taking content and you're just p putting your logo on it, your watermark, and putting it on TikTok. Like, what are you doing?" And then he was like, "Yeah, we'll definitely make sure to like uh, properly credit." And Rad Sad was like, "No, no just no. don't do that. <laughs> no, it's stop not your content." It's this is in December. Okay, so this is December 2nd, 2021. So this is not something that just spontaneously combusted. This is something that's been stewing for a while. Obviously, Radstads and Ludwig were giving him, giving Christian the benefit of the doubt. Now, yes, uh, Christian was on uh, uh, both Bachelor, uh, batch, one of the Bachelor seasons and Bachelor in Paradise. Uh, Bachelor in the Bachelor season, he was kicked off on like week three. On Bachelor in Paradise, he's kicked off on like episode two. So it, not necessarily the most successful there, but you know, it's, can't really judge somebody by how they perform on The Bachelor, I guess. <laughs> you judge them by their character and how they perform outside of The Bachelor, right? So, <clears throat> so fast forward to current year. This is the recent tweet that blew up. And he says, nah, nah, Christian. And yeah, esports. Don't you don't just get to steal my work as well as numerous other creators, ignoring all my attempts to talk to you and then block me for calling you out again. You work for Twitch and you are knowingly stealing content. How are you not embarrassed? And so and he has uh basically, yeah, it's esports. So Christian has uh, blocked him, esports has blocked him. And then, then he says here, this is advertising for a position. Um, and then here's the comment uh, that is now you can't see on Twitter because he's privated his account, Christian Bishop has. Uh, how long did you last? I, don't, I didn't get on. So I can't, I, you can't judge him off that, right? Like, I mean, shit, I didn't even get on the damn show. Uh, and so, yeah, he says here is that we'll put, you know, new watermark credit policy in place. And he's like, proper credit is getting great, but I think it would be leagues better to avoid reposting fully edited content made for or slash by other creators without direct permission. Um, anyway, performance reviews are based on my bachelor appearances. <laughs> exactly. So, so <clears throat> let's take a look at who is, well, actually, no, let's, 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 let's go scroll down a little bit more. So he's retweeting. This is his tweet from, from before. Um, and then there's, there's more updates where he, he updated back in November saying that nothing is happening here, but nothing really blew up because they, they still, I guess they still had faith that they was going to change his ways. Uh, but then. We get a screenshot from Discord with Kendricks and I believe the grayed out area is uh, maybe a social media person or or maybe it's, it's Christian Bishop, I'm not sure. Uh, but it says, <clears throat> uh, hold on. 
from Kendricks. Uh, she says, he says, do we here? She says, do we delete the, the talks? Cause now in like, uh, cause now I'm like, I don't want to get fired or anything. I thought this was safe to do. And Kendricks says, no, no, no. I'm chatting with Christian. Uh, okay. So she's chatting with Christian. Uh, they're uh, chatting with Christian. Uh, the tag is right. And everything before Ludwig's talk, I think he's just mad that it went viral without them getting money out of it or something. I assume Ludwig's manager. I'm pretty sure. Cause it's cause he's mad. So yeah, Sag, let me know what you're doing when you're done talking and then I can delete that talk. You are good. Don't delete. We're going to make an overlay so you can tag in the video as well. Let him go. He's a fucking nobody. <sighs> so. <sighs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> so naturally, uh, you know, Kendricks, Kendricks has blocked their accounts. So you can't see uh, any of their posts or tweets or anything. I mean, you know, these are people that have been part of the industry long enough to know that that's the first thing you do, right? Um, the balls on that one. The balls. It's ridiculous. How do you fucking do that, man? How do you say that? He's a fucking nobody. Who's a nobody? <laughs> Somebody? <laughs> the fuck? Uh, so here's esports. Uh, they have their apology, but we're not done yet. Um, I want to go ahead and take a look at you know who is. First, we'll take a look at who is Kendricks. Kendricks. This is their. This is uh, their LinkedIn. Now you're a no. Yeah, now you're a nobody. Exactly. This is uh, Kendricks's um, uh, 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 history, work history. You can see they work head of digital, head of digital uh, esports, uh, chief marketing officer for Women in Games International. Uh, director of Marketing, Chief Operating Officer for uh, Queer Women of Esports, contract full time for a year in Canada, uh, a year esports digital marketing specialist, and then digital marketing specialist on the same company, Resulta, community manager. So, so for the past like at least six years or so, um, uh, Kendricks has uh, been working in some kind of adjacent uh, techno te technology or something, um, uh, 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 platforms or sites, not necessarily gaming related right uh except for of course there's some i think we have women esports and everything so yeah there's a couple there but uh bigger number better person said i am unironically yeah uh he's short though supposedly oh i don't know about that i didn't see that. i didn't see that season of uh i may have watched that season I just you know you tend to forget the like you know there's like 40 dudes that start off every season so <laughs> you tend to forget them uh this is christian christian bishop's linkedin uh christian bishop has uh either removed himself or never added himself on as um, one of the founders or operators or whatever of esports so we could probably just assume that they removed themselves and just called it a day but they do work for for twitch twitch properties i don't know how twitch would react to an employee i mean a, you know a director who um is stealing as in a lot of cases twitch content uh for their side gig i i in any other industry i feel like that's something that you would get fired for you can't just like take food off the shelf when you're a stalker and then like cook it at home or something for your site you know whatever like i don't know you just can't you got to pay for it right you're like yeah there's there's steps involved you know <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just like some kind of a skimming off the top or some kind of weird content embezzlement or something i don't know what to call it it's just weird uh here's the question how did that combo get out did she just become the scapegoat i think that um well i i don't know if, if there was a person that maybe uh, was that had that conversation with with uh kendrick's or what i don't know who leaked the conversation but <clears throat> there's been no denial that we've seen that that conversation is real or fake or whatever but um I mean, you know, more than likely is real. Yeah, more than likely. Is this the, it, it, the internet equivalent of stealing stationery? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, huh? Stealing printer paper. <laughs> Stuff like that. So both Christian and Kendricks. Uh, well, Christian no longer associates with esports. Um, I don't know if they're going to just drop it or what. It's a it's a verified title. It's esports. It's at esports, okay? Like it's it's this is a pretty prestigious name to have, not only to have but also to have it verified, not just on here but also on their TikTok, uh, which you can see is now empty. It does say no content because they don't have any content. It was all other people's content, but they have 3.4 million likes and 250 thousand followers, um, and it says esports lives here. If you go to their site. Uh, which their site still works. <laughs> it's not like it's not like Artesian Bills. Their site still works, uh, and this is just where this covered just a number of things. I don't know what's gonna happen to their site, to their uh, to to whatever. Um, I mean, a lot of these places, 
you know, it's just like they said on the yard, and I and I can tell you this from experience. It's very true that you know you some of these companies will hire people that come from other industries because they have something, some spark that they think that they can uh, turn into uh, a valuable asset for their company and in line with the content that they're meaning to produce, whether it's a game, whether it's uh, 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 you know a, a game adjacent content like websites or apps or whatever. And so you end up getting people in that don't have any, any involvement with games or anything like that. And they start fucking up our industry. Uh, you mean they didn't have a single TikTok with original content? I mean, they're all gone, so I guess we could just assume. I think so. <laughs> I think I think it's pretty much all of their content. Uh, uh, Ludwig went on. He showed the talk. This is a this is a um, TikTok. Here we go. Because I want to see what the fuck they yoinked. Just blocking after is psychopathic. Yeah, look. This is their TikTok, right? Fucking verified on TikTok. Quarter mil followers. Probably botted. Let's take a quick squeak. I feel like their content ends up being too lazy a lot of the time. And when they could be doing something cool, they end up just watching. So he talks about this clip. To it, right? But as you can see, there is content here. It wasn't the one they stole from Radzis. I think they stole this one from someone else. Look at this. Like the actual edit itself. Not just the content. Because like whatever. Posting a minute fucking video of me. I don't give a shit about that. But taking someone's direct edit is insane. So as you can see, there's a lot of content here. There's a decent amount of views on some of these things. I mean, there's a 514,000 there. It's got XQC's face on it, so that's not a that's not a surprise. Um, yeah, there's 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 a lot of content here. They just didn't own or make any of it, really. Hassan, I know I saw Hassan's face. I was like, what the fuck is Hassan doing in this? They're just posting clips of famous. Twitch, uh, famous content creators for the, you know, for the clicks. Of course, of course. Uh, just drop. There's name dropping. So, so they get called out in, in every which possible way. They shut everything down. Uh, in terms of like, you know, TikTok and all this stuff, they 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 post an apology here where they go through and they say, we in response to the fair criticism we received today, we have taken out all content, including all of our original content from TikTok. Uh, we will only return to TikTok when we are confident we can meet the high standards of original content we hold ourselves to on esports.gg. So, saw so, I know saw. So, <laughs> oh, God damn it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta show this, but that's exactly what I wrote. We saw we. <laughs> Exactly what I wrote it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> it's all we yeah, that's pretty much it. GG esports GG. GG. Um that's pretty much probably the end of their TikTok. I coming up with original TikTok content uh is is hard, right? I mean they're they're a business who who reports on other people's business. Right. So for them to come up with fresh content is going to be tough because then they're going to have to come up with their own characters or their own whatever characters, meaning like people. Right. Um, and they're a business, you know, they're, they're trying to run this like, let's let's get this name big and then we'll sell it kind of thing. Basically, it's their exit strategy. You guys know how that is. Which part was all their content we saw right there was nothing but popular streamers is your actual esports. Yeah. No, it really is like that. It's, 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 and again, this happens all over the place. You get people in who just think that, oh, yeah, esports, man. It's, yeah, yeah, esports, man. Esports. We got to do esports. We got to do it. Yeah. And they just care about, it's like a, it's like a word, you know, they just want to be part of it. Yeah, I man, I just want to say I'm part of esports something. And they'll pay crazy money to be like involved in whatever this is, investments and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, they're not really interested in being involved in the esport in in the esport content itself, right? The actual industry. They're more involved. They're more interested in again the exit strategy. This is a hot new thing. We can make a ton of money off this. We could sell it to somebody else and turn a profit. That's what their that's what their your goal is. Esports NFTs all the same. I mean that's that's how some of these some of these investors they look at it like that. They don't know all the shit is. They might be brilliant in their field, right? They might be brilliant in their field, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they <laughs> that they understand inherently other field, other industries. It's crazy. Uh, I'd guess that they were doing exactly that, though. Get a big following and then sell the name brand to someone wanting to push esports content. Exactly. Yeah. People think esports is just streaming. You're doing esports. Yeah, boy, we're esporting today. Welcome to esports. <laughs> oh, 
let's see, wasn't that the now this did this the source? Oh, I have so uh. I don't remember that. I don't remember that, but probably. So so we'll see. We'll check back in a couple weeks and see if uh esports.gg still works or not. It's just their TikTok, so I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna recover. They're just not gonna be able to do anything for TikTok for a while. Um let's do some esports. That's right. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, so uh, moving on. Speaking of, I don't know. But Doc will not be returning to The Bachelor. No, I'm just kidding. He will not be returning to Twitch. He will not be returning to Bachelor either. So <laughs> at least I hope not. Uh, so he, he's not returning to Twitch. As you can see, I have resolved my legal dispute with Twitch. No party admits any wrongdoing. And he shows off his cool pen with a cool little thing on it. Uh, so, so... We, we talked, remember we were looking at that Roblox video, it was like his last stream. His, he could be the three time, yeah. This, his last stream that he had, and we were like, like we were an, everyone was analyzing, all of us were in there. We had like our tinfoil hats on, boy, we were like ready. Uh, well, we're never gonna know what happened. That's it. Like all of that controversy, everything that we followed. Remember Slasher? Oh, Doc is done. And I don't mean just on Twitch. And then Shannon Z Killer had some shit that she said also about Doc. That she deleted a tweet. I can't remember what she said. But <laughs> Doc, yeah, Doc is done on the Twitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, thanks. Next story. Okay, fine. Next story. Next story. Well, well speaking of, Doc's got... <laughs> Tanya Disrespect is selling NFT beta access. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so, uh, perfect, perfect segue, perfect. Thank you, thank you, miss. Back to the previous story, please. <laughs> Can we re one? So, so Doc Doc has a new game that he's been working on. He, he paired up with uh, some uh, former Halo uh, devs, and, uh, COD devs, and he also has like uh, I think he was was he was he he was a COD dev right uh, years ago or something. Um, <clears throat> so they've they've all teamed up to make a new uh, to to make a new title. Obviously, it's going to be a shooter of some sorts, uh, some sort. And their first reveal for the game outside of saying they were going to work on it back in December was that they're going to be doing NFTs for it. So I decided to dig in to see what it was because I wasn't sure uh, if this was like worth even reporting on, right? Initial round 10,000 founders passes will be sold for $50 each. Uh, and after going through all of this, right? So it says here, analyzing benefits. And so it says, minting a founder's pass doesn't get you any in-game advantage, but it gets you a profile picture that represents you across midnight society and beyond. Certain features determine whether a var each variant avatar is rare or super rare. Such as armor, weapons, backgrounds, and more. If you scroll down here, they got a screenshot of that part, I think. Yeah, here it is. Let's go and open that up, new tab. Zoom in, whoop. So this is, we see this on other sites. I think I've showed you with Mike Shinoda's uh, NFT project where he had a, uh, like a percentage of how popular, how rare each individual uh, item was and they're all procedurally generated or whatever. Um, so <clears throat> this is what it would look like once you pay the $50 and you get your, uh, your, your, uh, your, your profile picture and access and all that stuff. So this, here's what it looks like, right? Yes. Yes, it's NFTs in my games, right? Of course. So here's your, power, here's your founder pass benefits and everything. You could claim your existence. I already did. Um, yeah, level up your existence. So yeah, I gotta level up if I wanted to. Uh, you you sign up and you'll get you'll get a notification if you qualify, I guess, to purchase one of the ten thousand dollar or ten thousand fifty dollar uh, entry passes or whatever you want to call it. This sounds like any other early access package it sounds like like if we if we took nft and all that shit out it's just an early access package that's it you pay early you get you get like you know some art or some whatever or like you know thing in the discord and we talk about we've talked about how we don't need nfts to be replacing shit that we already have we needed to kind of expand and diversify or create something new right Except with a credit chance. <laughs> Why not do that? So yeah, so this is this is this is the predicament now for me personally. I'm conflicted on this because it's like it's still just fifty dollars, 
which is about, I mean, it's less than most early access things that we've come across, right? Star Citizen. And they get bullshit. You typically get bullshit anyways when you sign up. They're using Polygon to, to mint their stuff, which is very, very cheap. Um, so it's not like it's destroying, you know, trees and uprooting families and all that shit. Supposedly, I haven't checked. The trees are still there. Um, but if it is the price of NFT, that's for sure. So, well, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Uh, uh, yeah, fifty dollars not give you a copy of the game. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. So, a uh, doctor just to rebrand to Doc. No respect. Yeah, it's for there for it being his first first reveal for the game to be this something that's highly highly controversial is like. I'm like, come on, man, really? So, you know, he did he did have some some choice words to say about this. Is bummed out about the NFT reaction, me thinks. Oh, Adam, it, no. Like I uh, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The reaction's actually been incredibly good. It's just that when someone sees the word NFT or whatever, it's like, oh, no, it's a negative! We can't think outside of the box. It's terrible. Like, like move along, please. Right? Like I said earlier, a steakhouse doesn't give a shit what a vegan thinks. You know? <laughs> okay, that was funny. All right, come on. That was kind of, I mean, that was kind of funny. <laughs> But, yeah, there's a pretty serious copium going on. I mean, he's obviously got something that he wants to do with this project. I think he he's walking a really thin line, a really thin line of, like, you're selling pre-access to a community, not necessarily the game, right? Let's, just, let's check the benefits real quick, because I don't remember seeing game on there. Let me see. You get early access to game builds, weapons tests. Okay, you get early access to game builds. I don't know if you get the actual game. <clears throat> yeah, I read game. Yeah, yeah. Someone who falls for scam doesn't give a shit about what the warning signs say. Oh, man. Scammer doesn't care what a loser thinks. That's why I have zero steakhouses in the, uh, that have vegan options. <laughs> Could they have crowdfunding on something else that not have uh, the backlash? Yes. But, again... This is a this is a thin line. Like, it's dumb to have this be your first reveal. Yes, it's super stupid, right? <laughs> but what they're selling is the same shit that everyone else sells, right? You go and you pre-order, you get some stupid in-game thing or whatever. <laughs> you get early access to early builds or whatever. Like, yeah. So the 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 lobby is gonna be filled with NFT bros and FPS shits. Not not so so that's the thing. Not necessarily, right? Because you can't, because people can buy this without knowing shit about NFTs. It still, it still purchases the same way that you purchase, you know, things. I mean, a couple more hoops or whatever, but you still just buy the thing. Uh, now, the difference here is that you can, after a 30 day lockout period, you can sell your access. So you can take your, your token, your card. I actually had a pretty cool token that they gave me and now it's gone on my page, my wallet page or whatever I set up. Um, but they, but this is a, but to say there are two takes of the doc is either using NFT reveal to get headlines, knowing the morons buy in, or they just know that they'll get, they'll make sales regardless. It's a rug pull guaranteed. There's the only reason it isn't more of a shit show is that people will fall over themselves for Dr. Smith's cult of personality. If Blizzard did this, people would burn the place down. Yeah, I mean, look at any game that's introduced NFTs, period, has been, like, shit on relentlessly, right? Uh, in all those cases, though, it's been for shit that's, like, it's, like, in-game stuff or, uh, like, actual in-game items or things that don't really even relate to blockchain technology. It's not decentralized by any means. <laughs> uh, and in this case, they're just selling minted tickets or whatever access for $50. And so this is, again, this is a, this is a super gray area. I feel like now if there's more NFT shit in the game itself, which probably happened, 
then that's when we get really, really upset. If there any hold is because that's cut off for a lot of car chargebacks, so they got your money 100% by then. Oh, yeah, thank you, Zebra. I wanted to finish that thought. Yeah, so you they you, they force a hold for 30 days, so that so uh, uh, and then after that, you can sell it. So you can sell your access to somebody else, and there's only 10,000. So hypothetically, it makes it rare, <laughs> which means you could sell it for more, right? So maybe it's an investment. Maybe we should buy a whole bunch of them and then turn around and sell them. Or maybe what happens is somebody scalps all 10,000 of them <laughs> and then nobody plays this game. <laughs> Feels like a marketing stunt. My guess is they are on Polygon because of the low gas fee. Yeah, they're on Polygon because of the super low gas fee. Um, so they can either eat the cost or they're can, or they they're not really incurring much of a cost for that $50. Um that one scalper got all 10,000. So lucky. Let's see we take a people are going to play this game on the first week. Oh, yeah. Oh, after the first week? Oh, I don't know. But the first week, 100%. Yeah. Is there video kind of laughing at digital scarcity? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, real pros use Microsoft Access. What about Dropbox? How good will the game be, though? Any gameplay? That's the point, Red. Is that there's nothing else? This is the first thing we've seen from the game, and it's NFT shit. Like, you couldn't have waited? <laughs> you couldn't have done something else? Given us, like, I don't know, the intro loading screen or some shit? <laughs> I mean, aesthetically, it doesn't look bad. I mean, you know, it's got kind of a, you know, planet side TR vibe kind of thing, right? I mean, it's, it's not too bad looking. I've got more, I've got more somewhere, but. Midnight Society, star here, blah, blah, blah. Where are my pictures? They're loading up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Yeah, all this stuff. So ARG, some art, whatever. I mean, it's pretty cool looking stuff, aesthetically. Either way, either they don't know marketing or the game is not real. Dude, if, if the doc rug pulls on a lot of people like that, then he's done. And, and, not, and not just on the blockchain. They, they who should have wrote Dr. D's name longer to build hype before dropping this, uh, but probably best to get out of the way now. Yep. He 100% will. You think so? He's already done. He's already done. Oh, man. Man, I was really looking forward to some news, man. I was hoping he was like fucking Emma Shear or Emma Shear's wife or something, man. Damn, I thought it was some kind of actual juicy bits. We didn't get anything. P.S. While I was going, I was going through and I was looking for their uh, to see if they already had some pre-minted stuff and I couldn't find anything. Uh, I just wanted to see like the wallets and where they go and everything, right? Just do a little bit of snooping. And while I was snooping around on OpenSea, uh, I came across this and I just I just wanted to share it. So no 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 reason really. It's just <laughs> it's just a... really really cheap profile pictures here, guys. All right, look at point zero zero six nine. Okay, point zero. There's 4,200 of them, okay? There's no mistakes here. Go get yourself a dope dude. I'm not affiliated with this anyway. I just came across it while I was clicking through. <laughs> I just saw, wait, wait, 4,269 boy, he's got on top of that shit. Right click, save, some of these are pretty good. Let me see. How many are, there's 4,200 of these things? Oh my God, oh my God, wow. Anyways, so. Ah, uh, that's it for NFTs. Just kidding, boy, we got more. This is your boy, Snoop. Snoop D-O-double-G. Oh, shit, I ate a thing. Okay. All the famous people getting paid to promote scams. So, this one... This one... This one leans a little bit more towards the um, acceptable realm for me, right? For, for me personally. Stoop isn't re relevant anymore either. He's trying to catch it. He's a, he's a legacy. He's a legend. It's a, the Snoop legacy. Can you smoke NFTs now? <laughs> Did he become Snoop like? Oh, for, yeah, yeah, they changed it back. No, they can smoke your wallet. <laughs> so what he's doing is he's paired up with um, with a, a, a comic book uh, artist to make custom art pieces, some of them animated, uh, and selling those in lots. This is not a profile picture like your fucking dope dudes or whatever. This is not like that. 
It's not like it's not like Doctor disrespects ten thousand fifty dollar things. This is a handful of art. And I actually have them here um, that they're selling. A popular opinion: Snoop uh, only had one good album. And the album was only good because Dre put his name on it. <gasps> How dare you, man? No, he's got some good shit, man. Uh, actual art that you okay? Not actual art, but like not real art. Art <laughs> like digital art, man. Come on, that's actual. Come on. Not phys physical art, but listen. Super cuz to the rescue. Super cuz. You can own one of 1,500 digital copies of these. Uh, 25, sorry. Of this right here. It comes with audio, that's right. And it animates. Super cuz to the rescue. And it loops as well. We got more. Let me see. Break bread. A fake date. Break bread or fake dead. So Super Cuz has a whole storyline. Has a whole storyline. Yeah, it's pretty low quality uh, <laughs> audio. Really is. Um, <clears throat> cool, but why not just use anything else? Because NFTs are the hot shit. So of course, of course, of course. A whole backstory. It's a crypto kajillion air by day I guess a pimp a pimp crypto cajillionaire by day and then a superhero by night <laughs> here it is here it is Nemo holds the eighth the crypto trillionaires Nemo holds eighth <laughs> so <clears throat> If you're looking for some Snoop NFTs, Snoop, Boss Logic, pair it up. They're making some custom art. This is cringe. It's pretty cringe. It's pretty cringe. I mean, it's better than profile pictures. Just mass produced 4,200 of them at 0 0.0069 each. Can't waste all the file size and quality audio. Yeah, it's 12.8 megabytes, those things. So there's not a lot of room for good audio in there. <laughs> Someone has to host that shit, man. They're not going to pay for it, too. Shit. <laughs> Anyways, so. Moving on. Can't really see a pimp as a hero. Oh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ for real. Moving on. <sighs> More NFT shit. <laughs> Fuck. This one is called Art World from Art Age, a popular game. Remember that one? Who's playing that one? Who's playing some people playing that? Imagine my hero academia, but with back hands instead of punches. Yeah. Yeah. So pre-registration. You play that to hell. Are you ready for the sequel? <laughs> Art World is a, the first seamless open world PC MMORPG. That utilizes NFT technology for ownership of various things such as land, items, etc. No, 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 no. The game is. <laughs> so they have a pre registration site up right now. There's not a whole lot of information on it. You can see that they do plan on making it so that you can own things in a virtual space, um, which is what every metaverse thing is trying to do. But they're just using the Arch Age name in order to, you know, promote it or create and you create hype around it. Um, <clears throat> and then you can see this is there. I mean, this on their actual site itself, it goes in a little more detail. They 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 show which everything loads here. Uh, they show some of the various. Uh, looks I guess you could get that are all NFT based I suppose right uh, and then down here they talk about the um, the these prices these prices are a little insane I'm not sure if I'm reading them correctly so clay is a Clayton I believe and it's a uh, 600 clay is like hundreds of US dollars um, so I don't know if they're saying that in order to get in during the first phase, you got to pay X amount of clay in order to get a whitelist mint, mint an item of two, one of 295 basic cards, five rare cards, or if they just give you those cards or something. Um, 
as people like they are just co-opting the term as a new buzzword just as meta was uh their unique skin that's a lot of work yeah i don't know if they're necessarily all unique skins i don't think so unless they use like some kind of uh uh randomizer or something it's like one dollar for one clay right now yeah there you go yeah whales exist they don't need very many i mean it's not gonna be a ton of people playing the game but yeah i mean it's here it's available it says a phantom nft card which will give you the chance to be whitelisted for land nft mint costs uh it consists of 2600 basic male slash female cards from each race of arch age uh 25 rare yata greenman dairy cow cards uh total number of cards issued is 2625 a total of 2425 cards including rare cards will be available for minting while the company keeps the remaining 200 cards for partnership in the future say what is this uh probably just digital scarcity shit again uh let's see at what point the nfts either go away or become something affordable and or useful not a scam <clears throat> i i i <sighs> there's too many people say that's easy to make money off of it uh and so they're gonna they're gonna shoehorn it into whatever they're working on right and yeah it's stupid <laughs> i don't mind i really don't mind picture art and stuff being sold like like the snoop dog thing like that's fine like they paid to have an artist make something and it's this co-branded and they're gonna sell 1500 copies of that one thing whatever people will buy them and that's fine um profile pictures seems really stupid to me because it's like you just it's work to set it up but then you just pump out 10,000 of them and then it just floods the market and it's just kind of like well now, now everyone's got you know a special avatar and it's no longer special anymore uh, what, uh, we're seeing people, we're seeing companies and people do different things is what I'm saying. It started off and it was, uh, with like digits and stuff from Ubisoft trying to like sell in-game items and make them tradable and all that shit where they're trying to basically co-opt or, or, or just pivot in-game existing features and turn them into NFT compatible, uh, avenues for, for, or for revenue. Uh, getting one at 1500 is not special. Yeah, well, I, yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> uh, so we're at least we're seeing more creative ways for people to get, uh, sorry, more creative uses of it. But we still have stuff like this, right? Which, well, this is a standalone game that's supposed to be built entirely off of this. <laughs> I mean, it's a blockchain technology game. Uh, TF2 did rarity and uniqueness with effects and numbering the first handful of new items uh, a good 10 years ago without NFT bullshit. But see, who was making money off of that? The people who would run skin sites. And that's the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> the wrong people were making money. Uh, it could be like a top tier raid boss only uh, ever giving 1500 of a certain weapon. Mm. Mm-hmm. The smart ones ain't saying shit about their next best NFT. It's just the latest rich get rich get richer quick th uh, richer scheme. Uh, I'll be on board when these things can be used by everyday people for something of value, and that's 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 what I'm looking forward to. Like even like I said, even Doctor disrespects stupid like you know and it mint mint a, a, an access uh, mint access to their uh, uh, to their game or to their you know, whatever. Um, cause it's no game yet <laughs> that even that felt like, it's like, okay, you're kind of walking a weird thin line, but sure. Yeah. Let us download the game first. Yeah. Now the devs get to make money after every transaction made. Yeah. I'd be willing to bet 10 subs that when this game releases, it uses RH assets, uh, that get poured over. Oh, for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You come back to, uh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. I know. Yeah. NFT. I know. Crushing, crushing. Yes. It does suck. It does suck. <clears throat> But we'll see. Hey, I'll remember that. I'll remember that though. 10, 10 subs. Well, I'll write that shit down. Anyway, so yeah, Arch World available now for access. Only costs you like 500 Clayton or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> the future of gay privacy is right click save. Yeah. Speaking of. Nothing, but Halo, we've got some more news about the Halo uh, uh, show that's coming soon to, I think, Paramount, right? Um, <clears throat> we got some quotes from this, from this, uh, from this Variety article where they talk to the showrunners, they talk to the people that are working on it, they talk to Jen Taylor, who is the, who's the, the original and only uh, um, Cortana uh, voice actress and now actress. She's actually playing the character in the show. Um... 
there are some yeah that gun says there are some disappointing things here i'll read you some quotes uh it says here quote we didn't look at the game we didn't talk about the game we talked about the characters in the world so i never felt limited by it being a game right it says here more than 90 million dollars in 265 script drafts later halo is finally a tv show so yeah they're saying that they didn't they didn't really take any approach to the game first they took approach to the lore first i mean and and when you look at halo there's a ton of books there's a there's comics there's side stories there's all there's a ton it's a huge massive world right but the game is centric to that stuff the game the game at least shows you how these things how these elements interact with each other right game based on show uh, yeah w would uh yeah so well again making a game based on a show without looking at the game does seem terrible and i'm not here to justify that at all i think it's pretty stupid <laughs> you could at least watch watch a lot of let's play or something uh and then it says here <clears throat> that the halo series tv series exists in what 343 is calling the silver timeline so they're gonna have a little bit more leeway with how they do uh some of the the actual lore within the show it may it may lead to some retconning of things it, it could lead to I don't know something but they 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 also talk about uh how they took some characters and put them in the show from the books some of them who were maybe just mentioned in passing but they you know are prominent characters that you could translate into an actual show and other ones already had you know story and everything so they just took their story existing story and then put them in that'd be like captain keys or some shit right um like or or any other main characters they already have pre-built stories so we could get them in i mean keys has his own book doesn't he i think he does uh we already got red versus blue we don't need this <laughs> yeah huh <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> and so jen taylor does have she does have some words she said again jen taylor this is the voice of cartana <clears throat> she says it feels familiar and different at the same time i hope people will be excited about that do you want to be do you want it to be exactly the way you've already played it and already seen it what well, do you the game is the games some of them are such an adventure a standalone adventures they're amazing right they're some of them are amazing titles uh translating that to the screen we already knew it's a bad idea we know it's a bad idea because most cases of games going to the big screen or in this case not so big screen uh it's always a, usually a train wreck of some sort See, when games get turned into TV shows and, and, and movies, you got to ask, who are they making it for? Because it was for gamers, the story would be changed. Uh, if it was for lay people, they just keep a story in the game. They don't know it. Right. And they say here, they say here that the swing, this is a swing for a broad audience. This is the chief program officer at the streamer. Uh, my hope is this expands with, uh, what the Paramount Plus brand can mean. So <clears throat> they're pushing, they're pushing this show as a means to basically uh compete with other streaming like powerhouses like netflix and hulu the people who produce these are the companies that produce their own um uh, their own movies and their own shows and all that uh so this is their this is paramount's opportunity to say yeah we could go into that space too, compete with like arcane for example um by bringing their own game adaptation and making it good uh it's not going netflix no it's uh, paramount they have their own streamer Paramount's also where you find all the episodes of uh, of SpongeBob. Kiss you looking. Kiss you looking. Uh, a swing for a broad eyes is never a good sign for fans. Exactly. Yeah, that line right there should be kind of a big red flag for a lot of folks. Like it's 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 not it, the broad broad audience is gonna it's gonna change things for sure. We don't know what. I mean, I can't really think of too much in the game that would be changed for a broader audience, but but making things dumber. <laughs> <laughs> like making things not so deep, I think is the only thing they could really do, right? Uh, I will say that the guy that will play Master Chief Pablo Schreiber can pull it off physically and presence wise. Oh, good, good. I don't know who, who that person is, but I'm down. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Season one showrunner Steve Kane estimates he wrote more than two five drafts, drafts of the first nine episodes, balancing everything between production's need for story notes uh, from Steven Spielberg to the desire, desire to fold in as much of the mythology as possible. Yep, exactly. Um, what if the aliens aren't really bad? So that's oh so so yo funny that's funny Tad Rose because that's exactly what I expect, right? And we got a piece of that. We got a 
piece of that, not necessarily the bad guys, but like the Arbiter was introduced to the, to the series, whichever Halo that was. And we got to see that not all of them were bad, right? Um, but a lot of times, was it was it Halo 2? Was it Arbiter Halo 2? Um, but a lot of times with the... Uh, uh, Hold on, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, a lot of times with with current shows is they they always try to to to, sh to dress up the villain as somebody who has a history, who has reasons for doing what they do, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's a ton of shows that do this. A ton of shows that do. They always try to like de-villainize the villain just a little bit, right? Make them more human or something. Uh, but in this case, like bringing you know, trying to not villainize a an entire race that's like bent on destruction or whatever like it's gonna be it's gonna be weird it's gonna be weird they're gonna have to humanize them in some way in some way to make them translate well to the screen where it's not just action walter white was a good person yeah 265 times upper management idiots axing parts of the script no doubt oh for sure for sure for sure um so we don't have any other information other than, other than what we've already had right like released uh these quotes are are telling for sure, but probably too soon to pass any kind of judgment. Probably. Probably. Does Marathon technically happen post-Halo? Marathon doesn't technically happen in the same universe. Uh, but year-wise, I think it takes place beforehand. Uh, yeah, fairly certain it takes place beforehand. The technology is older in the game, but... Uh, say, nah, it's going to be shit. <laughs> Hollywood is mostly creatively bankrupt. I have zero faith this is going to be anything more than mediocre, and I got three seasons, maybe. There's, uh, sorry, it just made me think about this movie that's going to have uh, Brad Pitt in it, where he's like some kind of like cleanup or something, or like, you know, uh, or assassin or special operative or something. And it looks, it looks really original. It's like old boy on a train or something, right? I hate to say that after saying it looks really original because, but it's not like that similar <laughs> anyway so i don't know why i brought that up it just came it just popped in there caffeine uh i look forward to pirating it because fuck paying for that three that's optimistic who's it see there technically is a link with halo and marathon they're technically yeah there there are there are as elements between them for sure there are a lot of shared elements you bet it's canceled after one no 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 they've already they've already approved the second season the second season's already been booked Oh yeah, Durando Cortana, absolutely. That was my first thing when I was watching, when I was playing uh, whichever game it was that Cortana started exhibiting signs of uh, of um, uh, madness. I forget what it's called, uh, but yeah, she started basically glitching out when AI reaches the end of their life. A uh, rampancy. Thank you so much. Sorry, I wasn't on the tip of my tongue. Uh, she started exhibiting signs of rampancy. I knew I was like, oh, it's like, oh shit, like this is this is it, <laughs> this is it. Uh, but I didn't play the recent game. I heard she was there, but you know who knows. Anyways, moving on. Moving on. We got a good one here for you today. We got a great one for you guys. NFT image of Pepe the Frog's butt sparks lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a real thing. This is a real thing. No, 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 no. This is a real thing. <laughs> no, we're not scrolling down. Y'all, come on. What the heck? I can't scroll down here. <laughs> Whoop. There we go. There, just to be extra safe. Just be extra safe. Yes, this is a real story. No, this is a real story. Listen, for just a second, okay? Somebody spent $500,000 on this image hold on hold on there someone spent five hundred thousand dollars on the uncensored version of this image because they were promised that it was going to be the only one for an indefinite period of time there were 99 made And one of them was sold. The rest were going to be held for an indefinite period of time. Indefinitely. Now, let's, let's look at that word indefinitely. It comes up a lot, right? In would, apply, would, 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 would imply that 
It's not necessarily definite, right? So when you say indefinite, it's like not definitely, which means not forever. But it doesn't say, it doesn't mean soon. It doesn't mean f- for a long ass time. It just means there's no planned date. So what they did was they released an additional 40 something for free. And the person who bought the $500,000 butt was upset and ended up suing them. Here is the, here's the here's chain slash saw and pegs are happy to present Matt Fury's feels good man, rare Pepe card, a piece of blockchain history. Originally minted in 2016, we desire for this Pepe to bring peace between BTC and ETH communities. 100% of the proceeds of this auction go to go fund, uh, to go to fund pegs down, uh, who strive to be a beacon of positivity and guide the Pepeverse. So it says 500 cards issued, 400 burned, 99 will remain, and one is being auctioned here, right? $537,084. Here is the actual court paper. <laughs> the court document. Uh, and then on, uh, let me see, page three, uh, seven and eight. I'm going to read these for you. Uh, or maybe even six. Yeah, here we go. Defendants conspired together to facilitate and conduct an auction in October 2021 of a purportedly rare and unique NFT by using Fury's name and reputation to widely advertise the auction by featuring Fury's work, artwork in the NFT that was auctioned by utilizing pegs to store the NFT being auctioned as well as 99 other identical to the auction NFT and by hosting uh, the auction on the website, blah, blah, blah. So the defendants further conspired and committed wrongful conduct by engaging in a scheme to artificially inflate the value of Pepe NFTs by which they advertised the auction NFT as the only one of the existing 100 that would be auctioned, promising the remaining 99 would be withheld from circulation indefinitely (laughs) in order to increase the bid amount, even though they fully intended to distribute the 46 identical NFTs for free almost immediately after close of the October 2021 auction. As a result of defendant's conspiracy and wrongful conduct, plaintiffs suffered damage in the amount of more than $507,034 when the value of NFT purchased from the auction for $537,000 blah, 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 plunged to less than $30,000 upon defendant's disbursement of his 46 identical Pepe NFTs for free. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just... There's a whole lot more copies out there technically, but you know, uh, welcome to definition. How do you artificially inflate uh, a charity auction? It's a, this is a typical, this is a typical rug pull in the NFT world. They artificially inflate, they create digital scarcity, right? They do all of this so that they can cash out. Now, because they advertised it as they were going to hold it indefinitely, there could be an argument made that indefinitely means longer than whatever the period it was that they held it for and before they released the other 46 for free. Um, so <laughs> he might have a case here. He might have a case. He might. Uh, so we just learned that someone can't read. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that, that word will get you every time, man, indefinitely. Anytime someone says, oh, this was shutting down indefinitely, that means it doesn't mean forever. It doesn't mean stop buying things that don't actually exist. He has no case at all. I don't know. You you think? You would think? He might. Here's a link to the lawsuit, all that. Yeah. Uh, he said, guy spends da, 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 late learns 46 game over free. Yeah, plus punitive damage, damages and attorney fees. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll remember to come back to this and see if it's something that he ends up winning. But, uh, you know, it's going to be like years. <laughs> it just means not to find. Exactly. I mean, he, and he could probably end up losing his... Uh, losing his five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I'll stop chatting indefinitely. Exactly, exactly. Should I roll? <laughs> Definitely, the money has been received. <sighs> this guy spent a lot of money for a sketchy fap to pay, 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 but <laughs> it's the only one. He's gonna lose that case. He might. He might lose that case. Yeah, yeah. And but if he wins, but but we don't know. We don't know. Uh, unless he has correspondence with the seller saying, I will not sell him for X days. He's no shot. Yeah, probably. I mean, you're probably right. You're probably right. <laughs> I have to find it. It wasn't until now. <laughs> uh, no fed. Yeah, no fed of shaming, guys. Come on. Come on. All right. See, next up. Next up. 
All right, this is a good one. This is a long one. So listen. <sighs> Shut up, Roadrunner. <laughs> I wasn't planning on talking about this. I was planning on it, and then I decided not to. And then the last second I planned on it, all right? I said indefinitely. I'll postpone talking about this indefinitely. All right, Roadrunner? Right is what I said? If this is NFTs, I'll ban you. <laughs> uh, it's not about NFTs. <laughs> so, uh, oh man, some time ago, literal years, literal years uh we played a game we because a lot of you guys did too uh called zombies uh and it was later changed to uh corporate lifestyle simulator it was it was developed by uh a, a developer big nick and real cool guy he was part of this community for a minute uh i talked to him a lot on on twitter we were like talking about like bug stuff or whatever like we shared a lot of like mutual interests right uh, he was really, really good, good fucking, like, great music producer, right? His music was so fucking good. Um, <clears throat> but as we've discovered with, like, people who are immensely talented and creative, there's, there's sometimes there's a, there's a downside to that. In some cases, in not every case, right? And in Big Nick's case, you know, I don't want, I don't want to necessarily judge the guy, but he's definitely exhibiting signs that he needs some kind of help. So, you listen to that soundtrack just this week? Wow, aged like notch. Uh, so that was weird. <laughs> a little fade to black there for you. Uh, so indie studio Dolphin Barn, which is the studio that created the only game under that umbrella, is uh, a Domina. Uh, also produced by Big Nick, but corporate style lifestyle simulator is not on there for whatever reason. Um, they were review bombed after some anti-mask comments in some notes. Now, uh, I knew about this. I tried my hardest to avoid it, but then motherfucking Ira had to bring that shit up. Ira couldn't keep his mouth shut. Typical, typical. So he brought, <laughs> it's a long thread. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so Ira tags me and he says, news, Domino Dev had a meltdown for being called out for posting some questionable things on their Steam, pass no Steam, pass no Steam patch notes. Game got review bombed. The game's Twitter has been posting some interesting takes, such as <sighs> Domino is recommended on Steam by Dominius. I know, I saw that. I saw that already. <laughs> so this is from their most recent patch notes, right? And it says here, take off the fucking mask. Next time you're at the grocery store, try showing a woman your face. Be confident, unafraid of the lies. You might get a girlfriend. Women like confidence. Women don't like dudes who cover their faces in fear. What are you afraid of? Getting laid? Grow up. Balancing. Prestige, maximum training, slash attacks. <laughs> Fix. Multiplayer rewards. <laughs> There's more here. Thank you, Ira, by the way, for being our, our correspondent on the ground there. Uh, it says, no way John McAfee killed himself. This is June 24th, 2021. This is not, this is not a new thing. This is not a new thing. Uh, here we go. Some men still won't fight. This is May 6, 2021. Some men still won't fight. They're weak. There's no accounting for weak men. Weak men lack character. Strong moral fiber is hard to come by. It's earned through hard work and sacrifice, and it cannot be had via OnlyFans or Pornhub. No, those fucking things are demonic possessions waiting to show you a succubus titty in the hopes that you'll waste a load on her instead of spending that energy studying how to weld or grow a potato or learning a new language or how to program a computer. Listen, kids, get off the poor tubes and just do something with your life because no one is going to give you a goddamn thing. And this whole mess we call a civilization is only getting harder. We need solutions and we need smart men who can work hard and implement those solutions. Masturbating to e-girls isn't going to solve the energy crisis, is it? Get to work. These are patch notes. These are patch notes. Uh, so yeah, they got review bombed. Just men. Oh yeah, just men. Just men. We're, we're, we'll go dive a little bit deeper on that too. I'll admit I didn't read patch notes unless someone tells me it's relevant to my gameplay, but uh, <laughs> did he not think people would read this? It, it's always, it's always, it, this, he's always interjecting some weird shit into his patch notes, right? Like going way back. Just men, bro. I wonder if this mofo actually knows how to weld. <laughs> So, Ira, Ira brought this up and he quote tweeted, right? 
and this quote tweet is a gem also, okay? It says, 16 hours ago, oh, talking about this. I am refunding your game today. I just came here to tell you. You know what women like most? Dudes who are respectful and take care of each other, especially vulnerable people. Telling people to take off their mask during a pandemic in your fucking patch notes is disgusting. Fuck off. And then he says, and then he says, 16 hours ago, you sad tweeted this. 16 hours ago, I was balls deep inside of my girlfriend. Good women expect and demand confident, unmasked men who can still pay for things. Fact. Seethe or learn. <laughs> see, see, this is his way of saying that somebody's triggered, by the way. Um, there's a there's a limit to being eccentric. Well, uh, <laughs> this goes on. This so okay, so he quote tweets. He quote, quote tweets, and then, of course, under the show more replies, naturally, he responds as, what makes this a meltdown to you? And then Ira goes on and gives a wonderful <laughs> speech detailing how he's in the, basically in the wrong. I mean, he's literally tweeting from the game's Twitter account. Literally tweeting from the game's Twitter account, right? There's something inherently wrong with that there should be when you're talking about shit like this so he goes on and basically just tell him all this stuff and he responds is this seethe and then it's just like and then era thank you so much no this is what humans call discourse so it goes on i'm not gonna read the whole thing it's a great thread i get involved too because i was tired of the shit right uh i unfollowed nick a long time ago because of some of the stuff that that he was leaning towards i just didn't agree with any of his politics um i his personal account exists he stops he's using his domino to share shit uh he shares i mean here's these are things that he has shared uh like he's retweeted this stuff on his own feed this is how guy streamers be like how girl streamers be like i mean you know this is pretty this is pretty surface level like pretty surface level sexist stuff right but then, you know, he also is like liking tweets or retweeting tweets like this. It says Dave Rubin announces him and another man are getting two babies. Mark Dice responded to this. What do you think? Like he's talking about, you know, two men using a surrogate, the surrogate to have a kid, which is very common. They can't have kids them fucking selves, right? So he's liking shit like this. Uh, <laughs> he's he's sharing stuff like, I mean, I have a list. He's a, a follower of Jesus with 10K followers himself. He can't even admit the truth when he stares him in the face. Take off the mask. The flesh counts for nothing or do you claim jesus to be a liar just real like like he's a like he's a, a i don't know like a preacher of i don't know like i don't know what how to explain it. it's so weird he was temporarily banned from twitter during this whole tirade uh, but now he got it back he was in fucking purgatory or whatever uh he's now he's now complaining that in the forums in the in the uh, uh steam forums he says i'm the dev of domina somebody's deleting threads from our forum who is not op not a mod and not me only one mod has ever been given permission it says is somebody from valve deleting our forum threads are they woke woke compromised come on man woke compromised so everything with him has been related to this. When he gets blocked, he revels in it. He makes shit like this. Block, 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 block. Wow, he's so proud. He's so proud. <laughs> like it's just, there's just so much. Send me your champion. I will destroy him in the name of God or he will prove himself to be a good man. So far, I cannot debate Jordan Peterson because I don't think he can see my tweets. Who is sharper? Send me your champion. I will destroy him. Long live the king. Like, it's just, it's just fucking, <laughs> if he was younger, if he was younger, I would worry that he was going to shoot up a school. Like, that's, that's where I feel like he's at mentally. I bet you he's in chat right now, seething right now. He could say something if he wants. It's not going to stop this. <laughs> it's not going to stop this. <laughs> How much meth is he on? I don't know, man. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I think he's just found God. I think he just found like the, like the weird God. You know what I'm saying? Like, not the, not, not the good one. Like he found like the weird one. <laughs> he pokes fun at transgender issues, right? Port and starboard are the only societal constructs opposed by the patriarchy, right? And there's plenty of other shit in there too, right? So, I mean, he clearly, clearly it's not a fan. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but his actions tell me that he doesn't like anything unless it's godly, unless it follows the New Testament. 
So, we can only hope he really is here. Maybe it'll, it'll make something spark right for once. Dude, if he is here, dude, Nick, seriously, man, like, you and I used to have cool conversations about shit, and it was awesome. Like, you were a great guy. You were snarky. You were witty. And then lately, you've just been going off the deep end. This is his Twitter. This is his Twitter Twitter feed, right? Like, and he's still, he's still talking about shit, man. Like, he's still, he's so bent on, like, defending himself for whatever reason he is constantly defending himself. Like he's, he talks about other people seething. Like this dude is so triggered. Like, so he's got two accounts that he's like constantly quote tweeting, sharing DMS, all this stuff for what, for what? <laughs> Look at is that these grown men tag me on Twitter to watch their stream on YouTube. Dunk on me, kick me out of chat, block me on Twitter, then delete the tweet. Grown men. Well, that's not me. That's not me. You couldn't even recognize his Twitter. Yeah, this guy's actively going and looking to argue with people over this. Yeah, professional victim, for sure. So, what has this... What has... Yeah, we... we, we oh, yeah, no, no. I know he's a... Yeah, exactly. I'm not deleting shit. None of that stuff. So... Oh, man. So, what does this do to a dev and his player base? We've heard of the, you've heard of like the, 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 uh, the cancel culture, like blowback, which is where I can, there's a word for it, where if the left or the, the woke mob, uh, or cancel culture cancels somebody or an item or product, then conservative, I don't want to say conservatives, but other folks will like swoop in to like save them by paying for the product by or doing what or supporting them on social media or whatever, 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 whatever. Uh, ha, I like that consequence culture. Thank you. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, quick question. Is he American? No, he's Canadian. He's Canadian. He's Canadian. It's all, I mean, everything, everything on here. Well, most of his, his stuff is, is related to like uh, Justin Trudeau and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. This, I don't understand what he's trying to say here. Right? I think maybe he's trying to say that. He's like, just think of it. Children written in big, big white Russian letters in front of the theater. Talking about the theater that was bombed that we know had innocent civilians in it hiding out. And I, I don't understand why you'd poke fun at this. <laughs> I feel like if you poke fun at shit like this, then you're kind of an asshole. You're kind of a fucking asshole. Uh, he was on the news in Canada years ago. Oh, jeez. Jeez. You know other Canadians like this too? It's weird. Well, not all of them like this. I know I know you guys are all like this. Anyway, so what does this do to your game? Right? Does he get a huge boost? Does he get a huge, like, you know, fallout? Well, the review bombing has been cleared up. Right? The review bombing has been cleared up. There's a huge asterisk here now. You know the asterisk. We talked about this before. The asterisk basically denotes that there's some kind of shenanigans going on, right? And if we go down to the to the comments here, we can see that Dominius really likes the, really likes this game, Dominius. <laughs> Anyways, we go down a little bit more, we can see the bunch of reviews. We can also see uh, excluding off-topic review activity. If we go and pull that out, uh, we could see. Oh, Dominius is still here. Look at that. <laughs> We can see there's tons, tons of comments. How to ruin a game in two easy steps. Add micro transactions years into release. Add a weird rant about masks into your patch notes. Avoid this dev. Uh, like, 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 now there's like Chad. Yeah, Chad. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, there's there's no kind of it uh, kind of to it. It's the kind of dick that needs his ass kicked for poking fun at shit like that. Mm. Side note on Steam, mine currently shows mostly negative on recent. Oh, really? Timmy, <laughs> Timmy, you're canceled. Twitter was a mistake. Oh, God. Yep. So yeah, a lot, a lot of negative reviews were taken out. We can even see in the graph uh, that there are a number of, yeah, here we go. There was not huge amounts. Let me go uh, just, just zoom this in a little bit. Edit preferences. Oh, okay. Then now we'll just look. There's a huge, there's a huge amount of negative here. 999 negative. It probably just caps out on that or something. Um, oh yeah, yeah, you probably have here. That's what this was here. It says exclude periods of off-topic review activity from review scores. Um, so yeah, something something to change if you're uh, if you don't care about that kind of stuff. <laughs> so so at the very least, we know that his um, his page is safe, right? Safe. His page is mostly safe, so the game is available to purchase. If you don't read the patch notes or you don't read the discussions or anything, uh, then you probably know 
you probably don't know what's going on, so you just buy it, right? The threat, there, there, uh, uh, the forums are pretty packed with uh, with people talking pretty often, right? I mean, it's, this is a pretty good content, a pretty good amount of content uh, or interactions for a game that's like five or six years old. Um, but what does it do to the actual game? People talking in the forums is like no big. There's plenty of shitheads on fucking Steam that'll talk in your talk about how much of a chad you are for standing up to to transgender rights or whatever the fuck he likes to do on his feed. Uh, also, was it, the guy seems the kind of dude who wears a seat uh, a salt light salt life wife beater, drinks monster like it's water, and fights people for a bag of meth in Wendy's parking lot. I don't think he does any of this shit. I think he just stays at home and seethes all day. Uh, <laughs> the purchase of sales go domino go up. So did the purchase? We don't know. If the purchases have gone up, all we could see uh, here when it loads the images uh, is that it is <laughs> nice. <laughs> of course, did it really stop working? Here, let's go to mm, peak viewers. Here we go. We'll go to peak viewers. Site dead. Seems like cat backwards, uh, sunglasses on top of the head and holding his hand up to block the sun type of fellow. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Sully Gnome's getting slow right now. Here, we got another one here. Let's go flip two. Here we go. This is SteamDB. They're up and running. We can see what his what his peak looks like. Uh, also, how he's done over the past week. So, over the past week, we can see that uh, basically no change. Uh 26 30 50 40 recently i mean yeah, it's pretty much the same for the past week so no no huge amount there if this is what he got from the boost it's still not a lot here we go um we could see here uh going back a little further go back a month we'll remove the uh, twitch viewers and we can see we'll go back uh three months get a little more number we see three months ago he's at 260 uh for whatever reason maybe it was part of a sale oh, it was december it was probably part of the uh, uh the winter steam sale or something um and then over here 95 so it's like you know it's it's overall this 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 little stunt didn't really do much of anything for the game there's not really a whole lot of players uh when I looked at uh, over here on the, yeah, here he goes, actual usage or actual like you know, stream play, uh, that plays, who's playing it and everything. I saw that there was a huge spike on Friday, March 11th. And I was like, whoa, maybe that's like a huge spike for people who are watching somebody play his game or something. Uh, so I went and looked to see who, uh, who that was, like how many people were doing it. It was one person, one person named Tomato. Uh, so I was like, whoa, this person, Tomato, like they 4,179 watch time. Like a lot of people watched him play this game for one hour. Okay. For one hour. You know, it's an hour because it's 4,179 watch time and there was 4,179 average viewers. So they played it for one hour on stream, a relatively popular stream streamer. I'll say relatively, but it's a popular streamer. Doesn't, doesn't stream often. Um, I went to the channel to see what they said and why, what, why they were streaming it. Right. The VOD exists for all of for for all of his past streams, except for that day. And I was like, that's really weird that like just that day is missing. So I went digging into his Discord, and what I discovered was that he did not know. He did not know about the he's played the game before, and he was gonna surprise chat by playing because it was an update that came out recently, right? The update, the, the, the update that we're all talking about. And he streamed it, and that's when he discovered what had happened. So even with all of this controversy happening, the only people watching or playing the game on stream was somebody who played it by fucking accident. So overall, this is a net nothing. He didn't gain, he may have sold some copies. He may have sold some copies. Yeah, good, great, right? But in terms of longevity, he didn't gain anything long-term from this. Except, I mean, falling out of favor with a lot of people, right? A lot of, and he doesn't give a fuck. I mean, he's a, he's a, he's a knight from God or whatever the fuck, right? He's, he's, a, he's on a crusade. He's on a crusade. He doesn't care, you know? But I mean, at some point, he's going to want to make money in this industry, uh, or unless he switches, and I don't know what he's going to do. Like, everyone's going to remember this. Everyone's going to remember this. Yeah, nobody ever buy from that studio before. Again, yeah. I mean, I don't say nobody, because somebody will. Somebody will, somebody will buy it for sure. Absolutely. On accident. 
<laughs> Maybe. I bet a lot of surge of the positive reviews are people that already owned it and never reviewed it. Yeah. He will link up with Kid Rock. <laughs> the fucking Kid Rock. Oh, man. So, what we could gather from this is... Yeah, Nick definitely took a different path. Uh, and while I had parted ways with him, it was a bit one-sided because I didn't say anything. I don't want to get involved. I felt like he was kind of getting a little weird. Uh, you know, I just kind of muted him and just kind of left it at that. Figured it was no big deal. But he never stopped. He never, like, it basically festered and continued going down this path. Uh, and it has finally reached a point to where everybody has noticed. So now everybody knows that he's, you know, kind of a piece of shit. Um, and so... I mean, that kind of mars your reputation in this industry, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. And all the evidence is freely available. Like there's, there's tons of shit. I mean, look, he made, he made a, he made a video, uh, where he just added some music to a compilation of, of, and you can't watch it, just go on YouTube, um, of people getting, of uh, protesters getting run over by vehicles during the BLM protests. Like, come on, man. Like, what kind of shitbag are you? You know? And he put music to it. He said, it is what it is. You know? I mean, like, there's plenty. There's plenty. Play. He considered, here we go. There's another one. He says, 100% of rapists, pedophiles, murderers, and thieves would love to defund the police. If you fundamentally agree with rape, with rapists and murderers, you're the problem. Apparently, defunding the police means that you're a rapist and a pedophile and a murderer. Like, wow, man, like really fucking far gone. Sorry, I should have showed you this. Really fucking far gone. Um, just fucking crazy. So, what did, I, have one, I have one titled Weird. What was this one? I was like, weird. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> one retweet. Yeah, it's not a whole lot of engagement. Not a whole lot of engagement. All right, let me see. Domina. Oh, yeah, that's right there. Domina. You could see, and this is the game profile. That there were other people that I, that I was following that were following him, but uh, I'm sure David's not going to follow him for much longer, right, David? No, I'm kidding. You can follow him if you want, dude. Uh, no one wants to gauge people like that. Yeah, exactly. Look, 18 seconds ago, 18 seconds ago, he's still here. He's he can't let it go. And I realize I'm here covering it, but it's the fucking news, and I wasn't going to talk about it, but I decided to because if I didn't know Nick. I would have been covering the shit out of this anyways. Like I've done with a whole all a slew of other things over the past 98 episodes of this show. Seethe. Seethe. Come on. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So, we're not ending right there. We're two away from episode. Yeah, I think we're like two or three away from episode 100. Yep. You see them, bro? You see them? You see them? Watch how I react to everything that you say with a question. Watch it. Watch. I'll misinterpret everything you say. Make it a question. Uh, expert debater, son. Mass debater. Look at me. Uh, it's really sad when you watch someone get indoctrinated right before your eyes. Mm. Yep. Anything special for episode 100? Yeah, man, working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Moving on. So we had we had a we had a uh, we have a number of different um, <laughs> indefinitely. <laughs> we had a big seed party. Oh yeah, depends on what the sh show is that week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get lore on. Oh man, yeah, yeah. A hundred episodes of this. A hundred episodes. We're not there yet though. Let's don't get excited. Don't get excited. Uh, so we've had a lot of fundraisers. Um, and a lot of just people sending money, trying to do some way, some way to contribute. Whether you're sending money or fucking anti-tank weapons or anti-air, whatever, we're all trying to support uh, Ukraine in some some capacity. And so, uh, itch.io uh, put up a bundle for Ukraine that was running. I wish I I had known about it when we did news because it ended already. Where you could get 998 items. In there is some 500 something games. It's a lot. It's a lot for your money. Uh, and there are actually some good titles in here too. I mean, I'm sure there's lots, but there is some good ones in here. I was really surprised to see what kind of games were, uh, were thrown into this pot in this thing. So, um, so yeah, it's very similar to the BLM pack they did. Yeah. The humble, but yeah. So, and, and then, and so they're not the only ones. This one ended with $6,370,787 and some change, uh, which is huge amount of money, huge amount of money. Uh, skateboard, skateboard is great. I've heard that was pretty good. Yeah. I, I think I have it. <laughs> Probably from you. 
Um, Crosscode, excellent games. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. There's some good shit in there. Yeah, I'm sorry you guys missed. I'm sorry. It was my fault. It was my fault. We have 2,400,000 already. Already for the Humble Bundle one. Humble Bundle comes with a fuck ton of not cheap games. We have Satisfactory. Yes. We have uh, Spyro, Metro Exodus, uh, Sunset Overdrive. Uh, we have Fable, Anniversary Edition. I played the fuck out of that. Slay the Spire. Uh, let's see. Starbound, Kerbal Space Program. I mean, this is like, this is again, another no-brainer. Purchase this. Monaco. That's a good one. I like Monaco. Uh, fuck. I mean, if you're, if you're a start, if you're a streamer just starting out, guess what, man? You've got tons of content here. <laughs> you got tons. Look at this. Look at this. It's crazy. I should start from the bottom and scroll up. Oh, brothers is here. Okay. I wasn't sure how they had to sort it or anything. Um, hi, babe. Hi. I'm almost done with news. When we gonna go? Then we gonna go. Are you excited? Is that what you're here for? Yeah. Very soon. We're wrapping. Oh, Lust for Darkness has a good one. <laughs> um, so I'll drop the link for that in here. Boop. You guys will go and support that one. I'm sorry I forgot. I, I'm sorry I missed it last week, but there's tons of shit in here. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of games. It's just, just yeah, this is this is excellent. I mean, it's excellent support for, oh, not just games, I guess. Uh, excellent support, uh, supporting them in the best way that we know how, right? Which is, you know, through bundles, basically. Uh, <laughs> sold me with Toe Jam. Oh, is Toe Jam Earl in there? Oh, I have that. I have the actual Sega Genesis title. <laughs> like the actual cartridge here shit shit yeah so check that out of course <sighs> last but not least last but not least oh you got it too Zebra <laughs> it's up there with my broke ass Genesis last but not least we got a, we got a little bit of a glimpse of the new Overwatch client thanks to <laughs> thanks to xqc <laughs> so here we go you ready for this prepare yourself overwatch 2 i've been on i do some dry some racing some driving i don't know uh, okay i'm on i'm on yes i'm on it yes i'm on overwatch i'm on overwatch okay oh my god oh. there it is there it is! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's right there! <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You are such a Look at his face! Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna go to fucking jail. He said, I'm gonna go to jail. Oh man! <laughs> uh, is it NDA broken? I know. I love it. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna go to jail. Uh, we'll see you later. See you later, SQC. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it was different. It was so. If you saw on the client, on the client, it said test server. It said test server. Let me go back here. You can see test, and he wasn't paying attention, so he just clicked launch. Right? No big. No big. And then it launches and he sees what it is, and then you see his face. I'm on Overwatch. Okay. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You are such a dumb fuck. Oh my fucking god, I'm literally going to fucking jail. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you got email 20 minutes supposed to be like, yo, you don't want, ha, yeah, do you want to be in the, oh, you did. Oh, ooh. Um, all right. Unasked for back massage, huh? <sighs> he absolutely did it on purpose. You think so? You think it on purpose? I, I mean, it looked pretty casual to me. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's all we got for today. That's all we got for Overwatch Two. That's all we got for news today. Thank you, chat. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. No, I didn't cover that. No, I didn't cover that. Man. We're like two hours into this news, Tanner Rose. We can't be throwing shit at me at the last second. Uh, is reaction is anything from genuine? Dang, man. Dang, nothing is real. Nothing. Have a good dinner. Yeah, I'm taking Jen out to eat for her birthday. 
Overwatch NFTs. No, I didn't say that, but I documented my Cantamata experience in Food Bros. Okay, we will definitely check that out. Thank you so much for watching. Chat, hang out for a sec. I'll come back and say goodbye to you guys. But for YouTube... Oh, shit.